Hello everyone. Welcome to Telugu One Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the Indian Coast Guard. Indian Coast Guard, my friends, is the youngest of the armed forces of India. Because friends, it was formed after independence in 1970s by bifurcating some of the functionaries of the Indian Navy. So let's learn about Indian Coast Guard. Indian Coast Guard, you can also call Bharatiya Tat Rakshak. Bharatiya Tat Rakshak. Let's go into the lesson and see what are the mandates of Indian Coast Guard activities and roles. So as I told you, Indian Coast Guard is a maritime law enforcement search and rescue agency. You see, it's a maritime law enforcement search and rescue agency of India with jurisdiction over territorial waters including its contiguous zones and exclusive economic zone. One need to know what exactly is exclusive economic zone. I hope you all read about exclusive economic zone in your economics topics and sometimes it also overlaps with geography. So economic exclusive economic zone is that zone of India where India has complete territorial rights to do its trade activities. Okay, so the motto of the Indian Coast Guard is uh, Vayam Rakshamaha that is also called We Protect. We Protect is the motto Vayam Rakshamaha is the motto of Indian Coast Guard. The Indian Coast Guard was formally established on February 1st, 1977 on the basis of Coast Guard Act 1978. It got a statutory status and it works under the Ministry of Defense. It works under the Ministry of Defense. The Coast Guard works in close cooperation with Indian Navy. It also works in close cooperation with the customs official. Okay with Indian Navy, Department of Fishery and Department of Revenue, especially the custom to tackle anti-insurgency based, uh, that is sometimes we'll get arms imported through the sea and sometimes we'll get the uh, import of drugs into Indian state. All these activities are halted by Indian Coast Guard in tandem with the uh, Indian Customs Department uh, and other central and state police forces. Most of the states, uh, especially the coastal states, my friend, they have a subdivision of coastal police. So, in cooperation with coastal police, they protect all the coastline of India. So, what exactly are the mission and visions of Indian Coast Guard? The major vision, mission of Indian Coast Guard is to protect the, our ocean and offshore wealth including oil, fish and minerals. Most of the times when we hear that a fisherman from Sri Lanka has been arrested by Indian Coast Guard. So, if any fisherman comes out of their own country's exclusive economic zone and try to exploit the fisheries which are present in the exclusive zone of India, then they will be get arrested by Indian Coast Guard people. So, in this way. And to assist marin mariners in distress and safeguard life and property at sea. If any mariner that is any fisherman or some person has gone into the sea and suddenly some sort of cyclone has been coming up and if they are not able to come back to the coast because of some height, no lack of high tide or something. So then when they give a distress call, Coast Guard people will go into their rescue. To enforce maritime laws with respect to sea poaching, smuggling and narcotics especially. Okay, even in the case of... Uh, illegal transmission or trans, uh, transfer of uh, natural uh, exotic breeds uh, sometimes animals or sometimes fishes or invasive species and it also you know my friends it is the first agency to react if there is any oil spill oil spill in the ocean okay so to preserve marine environment and ecology and protect rare species and to collect scientific data and back up navy during the war times. It is both peacetime and wartime activities it has my friends. In peacetime most of the time it will be uh, doing some sort of environmental activity, rescue operations, rescue and also some sort of disaster relief operations during the peacetime. 
but during the war time it uses all its war equipment to counter the insurgents who wanted to enter for example in the case of uh, Mumbai attacks because of lack of intelligence the coast guard and lack of equipment with the coast guard the Mumbai attacks were possible soon after that uh, Mumbai attacks in 2011 the coast guard was revamped and it got very updated equipment so what are the duties of the Indian coast guard now we have seen the mission that is to protect our all the coastline to pro, to protect the mariners to protect the fishes environment and etc now let's see its duties enforcement of maritime laws is one of the major important duty of the indian coast guard especially all the international treaties also they will be handling which are res with respect to the maritime law Indian Coast Guard ships and aircraft undertake regular patrols to enforce maritime laws and other regulatory and international treaties to which India is a signatory. They are continuously vi under vigilance, okay? They continuously vigil all the sea coast, okay? They are also in, uh, they are also having hand to hand exercises with other Coast Guard institutions in the Indian Ocean region, especially. Next, safety of life and property at sea. As I told you, Indian Coast Guard and aircraft operation mitigate the effect of maritime accidents and help ensuring safety and security from natural and man-made disasters. Especially when, uh, when there was a tsunami, a tsunami in 2004 in India, Indian Coast Guard played a very, very crucial role in rescuing most of the people. It even went in the rescue of uh, people of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Collection of scientific data, okay, they collect the scientific data with respect to uh, information regarding meteorological and oceanography for analyzing and use for scientific fraternity. They even assist the customs and other authorities in the anti-smuggling cases, very obvious. Preservation and protection of marine environment, as I told you in the previous session, you have seen already in the case of mission. Coast Guard has been protecting uh, environmental zones where such as in Odisha where uh, olive ridley turtles all come in a year to lay their nest especially in the Grihamath island in Odisha. Engaged with the environmentalists to preservation and protection of marine environment including the flora and fauna. They even try to eradicate the export of exotic coral species. You know the corals in the sea na? Those exotic coral species have also been protected especially by the role of Indian Coast Guard. Prevention and control of marine pollution. As I told you, it is the first agency to react in the case of uh, oil spill in a sea. First responder of oil spills in India. We, are, we continuously see these oil spills. It is a major hazardous thing especially for the marine environment. Safety and protection of artificial islands and offshore terminals, wherever India is posted. Offshore development areas on both eastern and western seaboard under surveillance. It even protects the fishermen as I told you. Especially in the case of always we see them in the news, Tamil Nadu. Uh, Tamil Nadu fishers has been uh, uh, taken over by the, by the uh, coast guard of Sri Lanka, all those things. Upkeep and maintenance of boats and fishing gear is also imparted. Maritime security related aspects are also disseminated to the fisher bloke. They continuously come into contact with the fisher bloke and they say where exactly our area is, how to take care of themselves and even train them. Assistance to fishermen during distress, maritime rescue. We have seen a, a Gagan satellite mission where we uh, give that equipment uh, uh, to the fishermen where they can call for a distress. Same thing again, you can see the coast guard saving the people during the time of distress in the coastal region. So apart from this, apart from this, what are the additional responsibilities that Indian coast guard has is that offshore security coordination committee. What is this offshore security coordination committee? The Director General of Coast Guard is the Chairman of Offshore Security Coordinating Committee constituted by Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas 
of the flag officer defense advisory group wherever we, the offshore uh, potentials are there wherever we have our indian government establishment to extract gas or petroleum their coast guard will be available and they will be guarding that institution next uh, national maritime search and rescue coordination authority especially if any ship uh, which has been going through the indian exclusive economic zone and it has been missing then the distress call goes uh, to the indian coast guard the director general of indian coast guard is the national maritime search and rescue cooperation authority for executing and coordinating search and rescue missions uh, there were many search and rescue missions my friends recently when indonesia's uh, submarine has been missing in the region of indian ocean then immediately it was indian coast guard and later indian navy which went for the search and rescue of that uh, submarine next lead intelligence agency especially in the case of coastal and sea borders and uh, it is the major uh, agency to look after the coastal security so friends here we come to the end of this class on indian coast guard i hope you understood all about the indian coast guard my friends please try to remember indian coast guard is uh, limited only to, till the exclusive economic zone and it doesn't have any operations in the international waters international waters are looked after by the indian navy and apart from that indian coast guard has uh, both air wing land wing uh, it also has its own engineering wing and it also has uh, the water wing all the four wings whatever it needed uh, have been exclusively established in previous the indian coast guard was completely under the control of naval officials but today the situation has been changing and uh, it is completely under the indian coast guard itself so friends thank you for watching our video we'll end our class here this is nikhil from telugu one academy thank you